All right. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about positive externalities. So positive externalities, again, we have a, uh, there's some positive effect that spills out beyond just the basic uh, direct effect that the person involved in the transaction gets. And so one example of this that we'll do here is the vaccinations for, okay, so babies and young kids that get their vaccinations, this has a positive externality. So we can go ahead and draw the basic. So remember, we had the basic. If there's no uh, externality, then this is just private marginal benefit. And now, and we also have a uh, private marginal cost. And then if we have this externality, then in this case, it's a positive externality. We can think of it as an extra benefit. Okay, so extra benefit. So this is external, okay? So our actual benefit to the whole society adds this part. So this is our social marginal benefit. And this includes the private plus the external, okay? And then, so this, uh, again, so if you're the private person and you're not, let's suppose you get to do this, you have to imagine there's there's no rules um, at all. You can do whatever you want. The government has no rule about vaccinations, okay? Because that's what we're thinking. We're starting from that situation. So the private people will choose here, uh, except for a very few of you, most of you are only going to think about your uh, your own self. And so this is going to be our free market, right? They consider only their private benefit. So you only consider the private benefit. To, so people only consider uh, getting the vaccines because they want to protect their own children. Um, they don't consider the effect on other people. Uh, you, that's what the assumption is here. Um, and it seems to be maybe a fair assumption. And then um, we're going to show, well, what, what's inefficient about that? Well, what's inefficient about that is at this point, our marginal cost is less than our marginal benefit. So our marginal cost is here, this line, and it's less. Our marginal benefit is way up here. Our marginal cost is down here. So we left, we left benefit on the table, right? So we lost that benefit. We didn't get that because we stopped too early. And there's the, the, the marginal benefit is higher than the marginal cost. So we didn't get that one or that one or that one all the way to here. So this whole thing right here is dead weight loss. And this looks more typical of the dead weight loss we've seen before. So our dead weight loss was caused by, um, we stopped too early. I'll just to say it simply. We stopped too early uh, when, so we stopped, let me not call it too early. It's too informal, I guess. We stopped when our, our social marginal benefit was still greater than our marginal cost, right? So we were still getting benefit from producing those units, and then we stopped too early. Um, we should have just kept, we could have kept going. So how do we usually uh, solve this? Uh, I'll talk about this later, uh, but two, two things that would, could be done. Um, a country could put a subsidy, so they could make, uh, they could make a subsidy that's equal to the size of this, um, external benefit and so they would make the vaccines really really cheap um, prob probably available publicly for cheap or free to pretty much anybody who wants them um, that would be one choice um, but depending on how big this external benefit the, the economist decision solution would be to make it exactly the same size as the external benefit um, but more typically this is done with rules and sometimes it's done with a combination of subsidies and rules and part of the reason it's done with rules is because these um, to 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 be if, to reach the desired goal, which is usually to eradicate diseases which have vaccines, um, then it typically needs an almost 100% coverage in order to do that. And so I'll post a, a future another video that discusses that idea briefly. Okay. So again, this was the efficient equilibrium, but we stopped too early. We should have gone until our social margin benefit went to our private to our marginal cost, um, but we stopped too early. Okay, and so this is the same situation, when, but it's kind of reversed from what we talked about with the negative externality. So with our positive externality, we underproduce because we don't consider the benefit to others. We underproduce, or in this case, underconsume, um, because we ignore benefit to others. So before, uh, the firms were ignoring the cost to others, and now in this case, the, the people getting these vaccines are ignoring the benefits to others, okay? Um, in some other videos, I'll talk about some solutions to this. I'll leave those separate uh, from this video.